this is going to be the fourth law of indices uh, the fourth one says a to the m raised to the n equals to a m times n right again notice what it's saying or what it is trying to tell you it says that if you have a base in this case any base raised to a power and then you want to take this entire base to the power raised to another power then you keep the base and you multiply the powers right now you have not been noticing that in most of these problems we are not working with the base but we're working with the power that's why it's called laws of indices or laws of exponents because you need to be working with the exponent itself right example one an easy one if you have let's say y to the third raised to the second the base which in this case is represented by the a the power the first power which is 3 which is the m represented up here and then base with power raised to another power which in this case is 2 and then it represents the m in this case it says that if you have a power raised to another power then it's going to be the base and you multiply the powers so in this case it's going to be 3 times 2 and my answer is y to the 6 right so you don't add it like the add like the multiplication but you multiply it and you get 6 right so very easy right let's take a look at another one example if you have 3 x to the one fourth y to the half raised to the power of 2 right so what do we do here 3 x to the one fourth and y to the half we have a base what is the power for the 3 we know that there is an imaginary one here so we know it's the power of 1 right the x raised to the one fourth the y raised to the half and all of that is raised to another power which is 2 right now what do we do here we're going to take it separate we're going to take it individually it is going to be 3 1 times 2 right the power times the other power so 1 times 2 the x 1 fourth times 2 get it and then y 1 half times 2 3 1 times 2 x 1 fourth times 2 and then y half times 2 all of them was multiplied by 2 which is the our other power that you were trying to raise it 3 1 times 2 is 2 x 1 fourth times 2 in this case we have x and then 2 into 2 1 and 2 into 4 2 so that reduces to half then y 2 into 2 1 and then 2 into 2 1 1 over 1 is 1 1 times 1 which gives us 1 do we need to put the 1 no right because we had problems that does not have a power but we know it's 1 so if we put the 1 it's alright and if we don't put it then that's still alright so your answer ends up to be 3 to the second x to the half y let's do another one example we have 3 x to the one third y to the two thirds raised to the power of 3 everything inside raised to the power of 3 so what do we have we, we know that the 3 has an imaginary one so let's put it there so that's going to be 3 1 times 3 
the power times the other power which is 3 then we have x the power one third times the other power which is 3 right and then we have y the power which is two thirds times the other power which is 3 so let's see what it ends up to be 3 1 times 3 is 3 don't go and do 1 plus 3 because and then you get 4 it's 1 times 3 which is 3 x this 3 is going to be 3 into 3 1 3 into 3 1 1 times 1 gives me back 1 that's going to be 1 do I have to put it no so if you put it all right and if you don't it's still okay y 3 into 3 1 3 into 3 1 again but then 2 times 1 that gives me 2 so that's going to be raised to the power of 2 and then that is what we have as our final answer questions 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 last example the last example is going to be let's say you have 5 to the second x to the third y to the negative 2 and then z to the next to the and then we multiply that by or raise it to the power of 2 so this one we will say it is going to be 5 to the second times the second which is the 2 up here 2 times 2 then we have x to the third times 2 and then we have y to the negative 2 times the 2 and then we have z to the half times the 2 you take each one of them and you multiply it by 2 what do we get we will say equals 5 to the fourth because it's 2 times 2 4 so 5 to the fourth x 3 times 2 3 times 2 is 6 and then y negative 2 times 2 that gives me negative 4 and then here we reduce 2 into 2 1 2 into 2 1 and then that's going to be z because 1 times 1 is 1 and then again we don't need to put the powers am i finished no we haven't finished as yet we i noticed that i have a negative 4 so i need to change that to positive now according to the law tree if you have a negative power then if it is in the numerator you change it to the denominator to be positive and if it is in the denominator you put it in the numerator to make it positive right this is in the numerator because if you notice this is over one so we will need to change this to the denominator so we leave five to the fourth at the top numerator we leave x to the six at the top we bring down y to the fourth and we leave z at the top because it's positive and then there we have it that's our final answer okay i hope you guys like the video you need if you need to ask any question then you could leave it on the form and i'll try to answer it as quick as possible 